Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and I'm gonna be playing um, another uh, Scrolls Medium Difficulty trial today. And the next one on the list is let's see, Keystone. So trial details. Um, all right, so the opponent doesn't actually get any real advantage over us. We both just have weaker idols towards the outside and stronger idols in the middle of the the middle of the um, rows. So this shouldn't be too hard. I'll use my order energy. And why don't we put a nerf face on there? All right. So now uh, let's actually nerf. All right. So it's five, eight, twelve. That's a pretty. B All right. So I think we're gonna try to take down those five uh, things down there pretty quickly, so we can just have to get one of the three middle ones. All right. I don't have a great starting hand. I don't have any um, thing I could play. Or never mind, I have a copper automa. Forgot. Lately, I've been playing with only order decks, so I forgot that um, I was with a um, energy cards also. All right, so we already have a unit up, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go take that down to one health. I don't have any uh, other units in my um, in my hand right now, and I can't really play anything this turn. So I think I'm gonna sack for cards here. I don't need the uh, vengeance veil right now. So we're just gonna sack for cards, and we we got a order unit, but we did not get anything we could play just yet. So I'm just going to do four damage to that. So now we have three idols down to five or less health he goes ahead and plays a gun automaton and i'm still getting these high high order units i need to find some quick units that i could play like a ducal infantryman or something so i'm not going to be able to play this uh honorable general for a while so might as well just sack it for cards the game's lagging a little bit okay so now at least I got a card that I could play next turn. I got a Sin Mark Zealot because I'll just I think I'll just sack the Faith Blessing. So I don't want to put my Sin Mark Zealot anywhere close to that um, gun autom automaton because then he'll just destroy it. So let's just sack the Faith Blessing. And I got a Skirmisher, which is pretty good, but the again, these high, powerful cards. Oh, I thought I, uh, I thought I, um, did it to the Faith Blessing. Well, this is, uh, pre-recorded, so. I actually am post commenting this three weeks, not, no, two weeks after I, after I had this game. Because I recorded it before I went on, ooh, spark. I recorded it before I went on um, break, on vacation, and then I'm doing this right now. Okay, so I really don't. R I know I won, and 17 minute game, so medium length of a game against the computer. All right, let's see what I'm gonna do. My guess is I'm just going to sack uh, the faith blessing for cards. That's what I should do. Come on. Oh, why would you do that? I understand wanting to play the Kabonk and sacking for a resource, but don't sack the the um, Waking Zone. It's such a powerful card. Might as well sack the Faith Blessing. What am I even doing with that Faith Blessing? I better end up using it. Okay, still don't have any good uh, cards to play. I think I'm gonna start working towards getting that uh, Ducal Skirmisher, but first I will spark that guy. So now we're pretty much even. We both have five scrolls, and both we're about even in a in um 
resources also. All right. So, there, finally, we got a card we can play. A quick unit we could play. So, the Royal Infantryman, we're just going to put it there, a nice centralized location. And, what am I going to do? Alright, you, you gotta sack the faith blessing. Why do I still have that faith blessing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was about to click it. Wow. Okay. So, okay, at least I got some, a card and I could play. A useless contraption. A very cheap wall for the energy deck. He plays a royal infantryman as well. So, uh, this, uh, challenges a, um, order energy deck just like mine. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, right now I'm currently saving up coins when I'm just playing a lot of online games. I've been playing so much, I'm, like, addicted. And I'm trying to get the growth deck, because I want to try doing growth mono deck for a little bit. I, th I think that's really strong, I want to try it out. I, I, I also want to just do a growth bunny deck. I'll have like a god hand, a crimson bull, and rallying with like three bunnies. I, I think that could be pretty powerful. Oh, I actually used the faith blessing. I guess it was kind of good because that was down to, uh, that was down to six. It healed it up to full health. Alright, so, what am I gonna do? Okay, get rid of that. Obelisk. You don't need the obelisk right now. I, uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna keep the obelisk because I uh oh I actually got rid of it. I used to be so obsessed with um walls. I I just play walls so much. But what are you gonna do with walls when you have nothing it's protecting? And they're just sitting there, just stalling in the game. So there, I force him to move around a little bit, and now he's going to attack. So, I'm just going to take down that idol, so that's good. So that's one idol down. And I do have focus, so I, I'm not, I wouldn't use it on the um, copper automaton. But I could use it on that royal infantryman. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. I have a feeling I'm going to use the focus on the royal infantryman. I'm not going to move him, and he's gonna, I think he's going to do 4 damage to that second idol up top that's my prediction if i was playing this game today now that i'm more experienced in scrolls i would probably i would use it but i would move down and hit that royal infantryman in the middle he has that is what i would do today but keep in mind even today i'm still not a scrolls expert i've only had the game for like three weeks a month and uh, when I was uh, in Europe this was a game that I could play a lot when I was bored in the hotel room I just whipped out my uh, laptop and played some scrolls I didn't play Minecraft like at all didn't do any of my let's play I just played online scrolls matches okay so oh I actually did what I said I was gonna that I said I would do today. Good job, past Noah. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What am I going to do? I th did I move my guy down before I... Never mind. Oh, there. There's a card we can play. A Dust Runner. So what Dust Runner does is it destroys any units with three or less health in one hit. It's a pretty cheap unit to get, and it is pretty powerful. Alright, so now we're looking good. He has one unit on the board. We have two creatures and a wall. And we've done a ton of idle damage. Okay. And we still have a focus sitting there, so when one of these guys is ready to strike, we can do 4 damage to an idol if we want to. You see, he doesn't have very uh, creatures with a lot of health on the board. 
So let's see. Did I sack this turn yet? I'm not sure if I noticed. Because if I didn't, I should definitely go... Yeah, I'm going to play a Royal Spearman. Just And if he tries to attack the Royal Spearman, he will die. Because the Royal Spearman has the ability Spiky 2. Which deals 2 damage to the attacking unit. So there's no use in putting him behind the wall. Alright, so that Sinmark Zealot will not... Ooh. Oh, I just used Pother. Okay. So now we're all attacking, but luckily I'm attacking first. So let's see, what am I going to do? Oh, that Pother actually hurt me. Because... If I had that Pother... I think I could have... If that Pother never happened, I think I could have um, killed that Sinmark Zealot. I mean, kill the Simarch Zealot and the Royal Infantryman. Right now, I can only kill the Zealot. So that means the Zealot's going to be able to destroy my uh, useless contraption. Okay, so am I going to do... F yeah, I'm going to do 4 damage on that idol. And I'll destroy the Zealot. So what am I going to do? I should probably right now sack the burner the plating for order and play another royal spearman that would be the wise move and come on don't play don't play a crossbowman and like use plating and like sack the burn for cards i might actually do that i am kind of in love with uh crossbowman oh i did it <laughs> wow okay Wait, did, did I sack that turn? I'm not sure. Uh, he plays a crossbowman of his own. Alright, well, that shouldn't be too bad because crossbowman has a huge uh, countdown, so... My, um... My dust runner will be able to kill him because he, he, has, three or he has three health, that's less. Okay, I have an iron whip now. What it does is it deals one damage to a unit, and that unit gets plus one attack, and its countdown is decreased by one. The plus one attack only counts for one turn. So it only help if you use it. If you're using it on one of your own units, you have to use it on a unit that has a one countdown, so it turns to zero. Or if you're using it on a phone, you could just use it like as a kabonk. It's not as good as a kabonk on other units, because kabonk you would get a card after playing it. Okay, so, okay, so that was just to, just so I could quickly take out the crossman. I don't think I really needed to do that, but just in case he has, like, a burn up his sleeve, I could quickly take out the crossman before he takes out my, um, my, um, dust runner. So doing more idle damage and taking down his units. I'm looking very good here. So now I have a burn and two skir a skirmisher and a spearman. Royal spearman and royal skirmisher. So I play the skirmisher and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna sack the spearman for cards or the I, I don't know why I love burn so much. Redesign. I am able to use that. Let's see if anybody is worth redesigning. So. I could just do these on him. Then I'll have two, two attack for this turn. So I'll be able to. Um, destroy him. That was a good use of a redesign. Okay. So now we wiped out his entire board. But he still has more uh, scrolls than us. So, he can get back into this if he just has the right uh, creatures. And he just did it with a good creature scatter gunner. But he's not even protecting any idol. So, we should be good here. So, I'm, gonna, I'm set up to do a bunch of idol damage this turn. Let's see how, we, how are we going to max this out. So, the top idol, 
Yeah, sorry that I don't have the control uh, thing on where it shows all the health and attack of everything at once when you click control. I just found out about that recently, and this, I, like I told you before, this is an old video. So, all the future of it, actually, the next video is old also, uh, uh, the fourth, um, the fourth walkthrough. But, all the videos after that, after the next scrolls video, will have the control thing on the whole time, so you can see everything. Okay, so, let's see. Alright. Just sneaking everybody attack. And I get rid of that burn. Get a very powerful cannon autonomous, but I don't think you're gonna be able to play at this game because I have only two energy. So here's the idle damage. Okay. So I have one idle down to two health and another idle down to one health. This is I'm gonna win this game very soon. Alright, that scatter gunner is going to attack in a second. But I have a I won. I had a skirmisher, so I could just quickly, um... Oh, never mind, I didn't win. The, he put a gun automaton there, so I can't kill it just yet. Let's see what I do. Okay, I'm just play some more units. Focus. Okay, he's playing more units now. Destroyed my wall doesn't do much because I'm still gonna win and do I win this turn? Ye yes, I do Yeah, well, actually I can I have decimation I could just easily I could just win Yeah, I could just play this card and win the game because it deals it hurts uh, an idol by two health That's it. It's a pretty powerful card when you want to fuse in the right way you could just just win a game. If the opponent doesn't know you have it, you just use it, and then all of a sudden the idol is, just, is destroyed. It's two damage to an idol. So thanks for watching, everybody, and see you next time.